The PlayStation 5 has been a pretty massive success for Sony so far, despite the somewhat frustrating launch back in 2020. The new system uh, came out during a time of intense hardware shortages and supply chain issues, resulting in a ton of price hiking and secondhand sellers trying to make as much profit as they could uh, off the limit inventory. Despite all that, PS5 has sold over 32 million units since launch, and the console is finally starting to become more readily available at major retailers. But what's coming next for the PlayStation? Sony has a history of launching a base console, then following it up a few later with an improved variant or two. The PS3 had a number of variants, and the PS4 famously had the Slim and the Pro variants to help boost its popularity and increase its availability. So, ever since the PS5 launched, we've been hearing rumors about a Slim or a Pro variant of the system. While a handful of those rumors have been backed with legitimate sources, it's been a while since we've had something concrete. But the other day, a report came out from a number of major tech outlets claiming that the designer for a new PlayStation console has been revealed and it seems to verify previous rumors that we heard about the future of the PlayStation family of consoles. So strap in, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because you don't want to miss any future update videos like this one. And today we're going to talk about the PS5 Pro. That's right. Welcome to VGL, everybody. Chaos here. Drop a like, make sure you're subscribed. And up until this point, it's been widely believed that the PlayStation 6, which presumably is in the early stage of developments, will be designed by Mark Cerny, who previously designed the PS4 and the 5. This rumor was seemingly confirmed just a few days ago when a number of trusted Sony insiders claim that Cerny is hard at work designing something new for PlayStation. It's likely going to be the next major console, the PS6. You may be thinking, it's too early. It's too early for the PS6. Too early for Sony to be thinking about it. But keep in mind, these things take a long time to develop, and the PS5 is already turning three years old this year, which is crazy. Consoles tend to last six to eight years before being succeeded with something new, so it would make sense for Sony to start working on the PS6 concepts this year if they intend on releasing the new console in 2027 or 2028. It's also been stated by a number of trusted insiders that a few first-party studios have started thinking about the PlayStation 6, and there's even rumors that Naughty Dog's The Last of Us Part 3 will be released at the very end of the PS5's life cycle and then likely get some kind of enhanced port to the PS6 roughly a year later, which that would put the PS6 window, the release window, around 2027. So, what does all this have to do with the PS5? Well, Sony previously alluded to some kind of new PS5 variant debuting as early as April of this year, and insiders claim this new version of the console will have a more powerful chip and more effective cooling, meaning this first variant will likely be the PS5 Pro rather than the Slim. However, a number of insiders have also leaked development documents of a smaller, quieter version of the PS5, which that's probably going to be the Slim. If Sony's planning on repeating history, the Pro and Slim variants likely won't launch too far away from each other, as the PS4 Slim and the Pro launched just a few months apart. Now granted, these consoles didn't launch in the middle of a global hardware shortage, but if the PS5 Pro comes out in April, I'm guessing we'll get the Slim late summer, early fall. Sony has to space these things out in a way so they don't completely invalidate the original PS5 model, but also entice people to buy a new system or perhaps upgrade their current one. Now, putting more options on the market? It's a good idea for maximizing sales, but you don't want to overwhelm the consumer with too many options at once. Some people will have bought the launch PS5 and then want to upgrade to one of the new models. Other people may have skipped the launch model, but they'd be enticed by the variant. And, and then any number of PS5 owners may want to trade in their current model for a new one. All these scenarios increase sales. Sony knows this. So the PS5 Slim and Pro will likely have a staggered release from one another. Now, Tom Henderson of Insider Gaming claimed in the past he's been getting more information about the PS6 and the PS5 variants, which is interesting. And he also claimed that the upcoming PS5 variant isn't actually going to be a Slim or Pro, but rather a Gen 2 version. That would imply that Sony intends on going with a possible third gen or that they've at least considered it. This would definitely be a pretty drastic change in pace from the previous PlayStation consoles, but we'll see. We'll see what time says. I personally think the increase in PS6 rumors means the PS5 variants are right around the corner. Think about it. Why would all the insiders be talking about the PS6 if the second gen PS5 was still in development? Why did people just all of a sudden stop leaking PS5 Pro information and move on to the PS6? I think the answer is simple. The PS5 Pro, or whatever it's being called, is likely a few months away at this point while Sony is starting to gear up and start work on the PS6. May sound a bit anticlimactic to you and me, but if you're Sony and this is the fifth time you've gone through the process, you're just chugging along, business as usual. So if we're starting to hear more and more rumors about the PlayStation 6, it likely means that Sony is ready to move on with their console development, which in turn means the lineup of the PS5 variants, whatever they may end up looking at, Gen 2, Slim Pro, whatever they're called, are either finished or nearing completion. Sony did tease a new PlayStation console coming out this year, and with the increase of PSX rumors, 
I think it's safe to say we're going to see the next generation of PS5 very soon. Maybe by the time you watch this video. I mean, as for when, I have a couple ideas. It's possible Sony wants to do a full state of play presentation focusing on the new PlayStation 5 console, but it's also entirely possible they just release a YouTube trailer and some marketing and then drop the console on the market. I mean, I also think it's possible that with the first uh, party Sony conference rumored to be coming uh, before this year's E3, Sony may be waiting until that presentation to officially confirm and announce the PS5 second gen of hardware. Now, granted, that may end up being too packed of a conference, but I guess it all depends on how long of a showcase Sony is planning on having. Given that Sony elected to not have their own E3 conference, I think they're going to have some pretty big news to show off. I do. We do know Spider-Man 2 and The Last of Us multiplayer game are likely going to get gameplay footage and a big shine there at the next big Sony conference, but let me ask you this. How awesome would it be if we also got our first look at the PS5's new variant there as well? So what do you guys think? Would you buy a second generation PS5? And if so, how much are you paying? Let's talk about it. Personally, I think this thing is going to launch for around $500 and the base PS5 is going to get a price drop to $399 or $400. Or maybe the new version will be $550 and the original will go down to $450. At the end of the day, it's likely going to have to do with how much of a supply Sony can get out to retailers on launch day. Will it be another limited hardware issue like the base PS5 or will this new system be readily available from day one? You let me know. What's your best guess? Do you think it's a Gen 2 that isn't technically a Slim or a PS5? Which I think, personally, I think that's a mistake. Because then you uh, you pigeonhole yourself. You have this Gen 2 and you can't really go off and do a Slim or a Pro because they're going to say, well, what is the Gen 2? It's the upgraded version, right? Why would I need a Pro? What are you doing here? Why are you double dipping? But then again, if you're going to take it the further step and you're going to have a Gen 3 down the road... Maybe this is the way to go. Either way, I feel like you get two consoles out of it, right? I feel like that's what Sony's goal is, to get at least two variants of the PS5 to extend the life and to upgrade it and get more sales. So you go either way. You get the PS5 Pro, which I think a lot of people would be more gravitated to than the Gen 2, if that's what it's called. And then you get the slim version, which is in a more affordable version. And uh, you go that way. Or... You go Gen 2 and just like, this is the next evolution of the PlayStation 5. And then two years down the road, you go Gen 3. Which way would you guys go? What price point do you think all of these PlayStation 5 should be at when they actually launch? And we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated if anything new breaks. And I'll see you soon.